Hello guys, uh, so we'll do shortcut techniques on uh, profit and loss basically. A lot of people think that profit and loss is a separate topic. Trust me, it is just an extension of percentage. If your concepts of percentage, reciprocal, uh, successive percentage are clear, PNL becomes quite easy. So let us start with actual questions of IBPS or SBI. Let's see now. Here we go. Fair enough. A grocer purchase 2 kg of rice at this rate and 3 kg of rice at this rate. So go through this question. 3 kg, 2 kg of rice at one specific price, 3 kg of rice at one specific price. At what price should he sell the mixture? Jo bhi mix kiya, usko kya price pe beche so that he earns 33.33% profit. Uh, looks like, see, obviously PNL to hai hai, yaan pe mixture ka bhi concept use kiya hai. Or percentage mein bhe boli raun ki percentage use hota hai. Let's see, a little bit of common sense in I'll say this question has got nothing to do with profit and loss. This question has got nothing to do with mixture, but this question definitely has a lot to do with averages and percentage. Little bit of percentage, because we use 33.33% may use cutting it. If you understand the concept of averages, this question is true. So from nowhere, averages case come into picture. From nowhere. Now let's understand what a normal guy will do. 15 into 2. I won't take much time on this, right? You can just skip it then. And then 3 kg of rice is 13. This is the price. So total pesa I have 69 pay. Right? I have to find my average cost. Na. So this is mix. Kiya na. So average cost is how much? I think uh, 5. So you divide it. Right? I think it will come to approximately 13.8 something approximately. 13.9 doesn't matter. So you sub karing it. They'll get this answer. And then they'll find 33.33% on this utter nonsense. Verbal question, you should have just marked the answer. So I'll tell you how. Now, let's see. See, it's, it's again, I have to explain this concept a little, but it won't take much time. Let's say there are there is a person whose age is 15. There is a, another person whose age is 17 year. Okay, he's 17 year old, one is 15 year old. What is the average is of these two people? You know how to answer this. Okay, useless. Let's say there are five people with this age. And there are eight people with this age. You know how to answer. Isko multiply karo, isko multiply karo, divide by 13. 8 plus 5, 13. That's okay. Again, if you use this scale, can I say this is age of one specific group? This is age of another specific group? Correct? Can I say my average age has to be between these two numbers? Main ye nahi 16 hoga. I don't know whether it will be 15.5. I don't know whether it will be 16.5. But it has to be a number between these two. Iske bahar to ja sakta. Right? Your average cannot be 18. Your average cannot be below 15. Which means my average will always be between the lowest and the highest number. Between the lowest and the highest number. Trust me, you know this concept. A lot of these questions will get solved quite fast. Ha, and one more thing here is average always moves towards more quantity. Jidhar jada quantity hoga, udhar average, average us taraf move hoga. Which means 17 or 15 mein agar aap dekho ge, toh quantity iske paas jada hai. Iske paas toh 5 kg hai, iske paas toh 8 kg hai. Which means can I say, which means now can I say my average will move more towards 17? Right? And people will say this is supposed to be profit and loss. Come on, guys. See, all these concepts are mixed. Now, agar ye bhi 5 hota, ye bhi 5 hota, either bhi pass log, either bhi pass log. Can I say my average would have been direct 16? Calculate karke dekh lo. When the quantity is same, average is direct addition and divide by 2, whatever it is. But what, because this is not 5 and this is 8. Mera 16 se toda jada hoga, 16.3, 16.4, something. Obviously, you can use the concept of allegation, but wo nahi chahiye. Kahi baar wo concept nahi chahiye ga. So, a few things explain, but one thing is for sure, my average has to be between these two numbers, which means in this question, if you just see, because my op see, options bahut jada dhun hai, but phir bhi tode to dhur hai. 
right there is some distance between these options so if you see it properly 15 or 13 ke beech mein hi hona chahiye tumhara uh, average price ye 2 kg hai aur ye 3 kg hai matlab more or less equal to nahi bol sakte thoda sa difference hai but can i say it will be approximately 14 approximately 14 hi hoga average price abhi humne actual bhi calculate karke dekha we got something like this only right we got around 13.8 or 13.9 whatever it but does it matter your question is not bothered about that your options are quite far away now that's the shortcut i want to tell you ye 15 hai ye 13 hai kuch bin ke beech ka hi number hoga approximately 14 hoga now this is where 33.33 percent profit is nothing but one third iska one third nikal lo question over so iska one third will be um approximately 4.4 4.5 approximately 4.4 4 4.5 right 4.5 see again this again approximation is what i am taking right so when you add these two you get approximately 18 point something yes sir ekdam bakwas hai this is the only option which is left and then you can come up and say ki sir none of these bhi to ho sakta hai see even in this set itself i'll explain you none of these is an option right you look at a few of my videos you look at a few of my sessions you understand none of these were aise nahi denge hawa mein right so sitter trust me sitter and people come out of examination and say ki sir wo pehle allegation mixture se solve kiya average nikala fir usme profit nikalne ko bola tha to mediocre a a a middle level question we made it a simple simple question right next let's see yeah again a very good question same same point people will find lot of things in this so diba bought a calculator with 30% discount theek hai usko discount mila now discount uh, yeah obviously pnl concept you are supposed to know so profit is always calculated on cost price and discount is always calculated on the list price or the maximum retail price mrp pe calculate hota hai so which means this 30% discount the person must have got on mrp so let's say this is my mrp this is my discount which means the sale price is this ye sab exam mein likhne ki zarurat nahi hai diya hua aapko 30% discount na this means 100 mrp 30 discount 70 selling price let's go to the next level now had she not got the discount she would have paid 82.5 extra agar discount nahi mila hota tha to wo kitna extra deti thi some amount which means this is what she would have paid extra now this 30 remember is calculated on mrp hai 30% humne mrp pe calculate kiya again percentage is see a lot of things will depend on this now which means 30% of the mrp jo hai 30% hi wo extra deti thi that 30% is 82.50 now from this you can find your mrp you can find everything else but what is the question asking just focus on that the question is asking at what price did she buy the calculator which means in real life in reality original thing in what price did she buy she bought it at this price people will first find mrp and then deduct can i say instead of doing directly find 70 percent by everything see ye 100 ka humne mrp assume kiya tha 30 percent of this 70 percent of this करेक्ट थर्टी परसेंट इज गिवेन इज एटी टू पॉइंट फाइव जीरो क्योंकि अगर उसको डिस्काउंट नहीं मिलता तो ये एक्स्ट्रा देना पड़ता विच मीन दिस एक्स्ट्रा अमाउंट इज नथिंग बट दिस थर्टी परसेंट का डिस्काउंट इन रियालिटी इन हाउ मच डिट सी बाय सेवेंटी परसेंट खत्म हो गया क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई कुछ और निकालने की जरूरत नहीं है एंड द बिगेस्ट मिस्टेक इज यस अराउंड फाइव सेवन परसेंट विल बी पीपल विल बी एबल टू डू दिस द पॉइंट इज देन देल डू क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन is the best part are cross multiplication bhi nahi karna hai yaar fast let's see so let's first get rid of this now all this is not required right now let's see how to solve this now what is double of this what is going to be double of this can i say double of this will be 60% so double of this will be around 165 I hope you got this. 165 is what you'll get. Clear? Now from this, I need, but I don't need 60%. I need a little more than that. मतलब मुझे 165 से थोड़ा और ज़्यादा ही चाहिए. 
ये नहीं हो सकता ये तो बहुत ज्यादा है राइट कैन नॉट बी डिटरमाइन नहीं हो सकता बिकॉज यू कैन डिटरमाइन नन ऑफ दीज आई टोल्ड यू के ऑप्शन समझ में आएगा राइट नो इफ यू वॉन्ट दिस आंसर यू कैन इजिली फाइन सी इफ थर्टी इज एटी टू पॉइंट फाइव जीरो सिक्सटी विल बी डबल ऑफ दिस यूनिट अनदर यूनिट सेवेंटी मीन यूनिट अनदर टेन आपको दस कैसे मिलेगा कैन आई से थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ दिस थोड़ा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड लगेगा बट सी दैट वे इट कैन बी फास्टर थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ दिस विल गिव मी नाइन तो ये अगर मैं ऐड करूंगा तो सिक्सटी नाइन हो जाएगा थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ दिस वन थर्ड आप इसका ऐड कर दो सो दैट वे आल्सो यू कैन सी सी वन इज क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन द पॉइंट इज आई वॉन्ट टू अवॉइड क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन क्यों इतना लिखने का बिकॉज सी हियर यू विल हैव टू राइट डाउन हियर यू वॉन्ट टू राइट दिस इज डबल दिस इज डबल इससे थोड़ा और ज्यादा अप्रोक्सीमेटली वन एटी वन नाइनटी ओनली ऑप्शन इज ए मच फास्टर नेक्स्ट लेट्स ए द प्रॉफिट आफ्टर सेलिंग ए पेयर ऑफ ट्राउजर इज दिस okay so basically this is the sale price given so profit is same as the loss incurred after selling the same pair at this yeah it's a very very easy question but the point is people will solve it that's that's not what we want just see the question tick the answer and this is where i'll explain you how none of these is arrive none of these is aise nahi kuch hawa mein de diya so obviously you must have guessed ki ha none of these answer hai but see how it is arrive so सेल प्राइस पे भी जो प्रॉफिट है एग्जेक्टली exactly उतना ही लॉस है अगर मैंने एक इस पे बेचा 631 पे बेचा 863 तो 863 पे बेचने में जितना प्रॉफिट होने वाला है 863 पे बेचने के बाद जितना प्रॉफिट होने वाला है उतना ही लॉस होगा 631 पे बेचने पे जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दिस यू वॉन्ट बी ड्रॉइंग ऑल दिस इन एग्जामिनेशन ऑब्वियसली Which means, what it means is, this has to be the middle value. खत्म हो गया. उतना loss, उतना profit. दोनों के बीच का value चाहिए. Now how to find दोनों के बीच का value? ना चल. Looks easy, right? बोलो जी सर, इसमें आप क्या पढ़ाने वाले हो? So that's the point here. Right? So basically, what you have to understand is basically you need बीच का value. Correct? ध्यान से सुनो. You need बीच का value. I hope you this is understood, which means आप इसको दोनों को एड करके डिवाइड बाई टू करने वाले हो बीच का वैल्यू चाहिए तो राइट देर टू मेथड वन इज विच मीन्स थ्री प्लस वन यू विल बी एडिंग फोर राइट वेन यू डिवाइड दिस बाई टू देर आर टू आंसर यू कैन गेट आई देर यूल गेट दिस एज टू यूनिट डिजिट आई एम टॉकिंग ओनली ऑफ द यूनिट डिजिट आई देर यूल गेट टू बट इफ दिस वॉज फोर्टीन और समथिंग If it was an odd number, तो ये 14 हो जाएगा यू विल गेट योर आंसर इज सेवन यूनिट में आई एम टॉकिंग ऑनली ऑफ द यूनिट डिजिट विच मीन्स यूनिट डिजिट विल बी आई दर टू और सेवन नॉन ऑफ द ऑप्शन हैज इट सो द आंसर इज नन ऑफ दिस सो वो नन ऑफ दिस सोच के दिया इन लोगों ने कि यू कैन गेट इट इजिली मतलब कुछ इधर भी हमने कुछ सॉल्व नहीं किया There's no same approximation which we used to, we we have done for previous question. We are doing the same thing here, same approximation, and we can easily find out the answer. Right? Now another would be another method would be basically both of the beach ka number chahiye. Ya to add karke divide kar do, ya fir fatak se dekho. 715 ke beach ka number ho sakta hai kyunki 750 se ye kitna jada hai. See, this is three and this is one, so 750 can never be the beach ka number. क्योंकि ये जीरो से कम कितना होगा ये जीरो से ज्यादा मेरे को यूनिट डिजिट तो सेम करना पड़ेगा ना राइट right? अगर 750 फिफ्टी यहां पर जीरो है तो ये भी नहीं हो सकता 800 तो डेफिनेटली नहीं हो सकता 800 इसके बहुत पास में राइट इन सेम थिंग यू कैन डू इट विथ 763 आल्सो आल्सो सी फ्रॉम वेन यू रिड्यूस सेवन सिक्सटी फ्रॉम दिस यू गेट हंड्रेड बट इससे डेफिनेटली कुछ तो यूनिट डिजिट अलग आएगा यूनिट द सेम यूनिट डिजिट दोनों में से जब माइनस करेंगे तो The point is yes, I am writing here, but in exam, आपको सिर्फ ये देखना है दोनों के बीच का नंबर है ये जीरो जीरो तो definitely नहीं हो सकता out है इसको एक बार चेक करके देख लो चाहिए तो तो जो थोड़ा बहुत भी calculation है वो भी नहीं करना right otherwise I've already told you if you're comfortable with normal calculation कर लो six thirty one तो चार fourteen divided by two तो I think it is seven forty seven
right so see uh, when we use the normal method there is no explanation so mujhe sirf likhna hai but when there is a shortcut there is an explanation so i take more time but when you use that uh, that shortcut in examination trust me it won't take time at all sirf dekhna hai answer mark karna hai next it's a beauty again once again look at your options they are decently far away from each other theek hai to seven table 12 chairs 21 table 36 chairs money is form equation all nonsense dhyan se dekho equation se bhi solve nahi ho sakta hai bhai kyunki ek equation mein do number hai to dusra equation hi nahi hai so just look at this seven threes are 12 threes are which means triple hai which means iska triple will be your answer it's like this a plus b is equal to let's say 48250 triple of a plus b will be what so triple of this so triple of this that's a triple the point is so bahut sare bachcho ko ye to samajh jayega ki ha iska triple karna tha main us uske baad mein kya hai dhyan se dekho triple matlab into 3 250 into 3 will be 750 टू ऑप्शन आर ऑफ ये बच गया फोर्टी एट इंटू थ्री करके देख लो आंसर और वो बिना देखे भी करोगे तो चलेगा बट स्टिल क्योंकि स्टूडेंट आई वुड डायरेक्टली मार्क दिस मूव फॉरवर्ड ठीक है क्योंकि मुझे मालूम है फोर्टी एट का ट्रिपल ऑलमोस्ट वन फोर्टी में ही जाएगा तो फिर भी आप थ्री तो करके देख लो कॉपी कॉट दिस नेक्स्ट अगेन वेरी वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन Just pause it. Look at the question. See if you can just give the answer directly. They can't answer. They did. So she purchased two fans for this much rupees each. Ha, har ek ka cost. One pe loss hua five percent ka, one pe gain hua ten percent ka. Find the total gain or loss percentage. Percentage me pucha. And I guarantee ninety percent of the people will do this. Ha, twelve hundred minus five percent. बारह सो प्लस इसमें टेन परसेंट तो इसका माइनस फाइव परसेंट लॉस करके लॉस निकालेंगे इसका फाइव परसेंट फिर उसका प्रॉफिट निकालेंगे ठीक है दोनों को ऐड करेंगे फिर वो सेलिंग प्राइस फिर एक्चुअल में टोटल कितना प्रॉफिट हुआ फिर टोटल कॉस्ट प्राइस क्या आप कितना सब करोगे यार आई होप यू नो द नॉर्मल मेथड ठीक है सो इट्स लाइक दिस दिस इज माई कॉस्ट प्राइस माइनस ऑफ दिस वुड बी सिक्सटी प्लस टेन विल बी वन करेक्ट मिल गया नाउ सो दोनों का टोटल टोटल अगर हम देखेंगे तो कहने से 60 का फायदा है द टोटल कॉस्ट प्राइस इज नथिंग बट 2400 नाउ फाइंड द आंसर सो व्हिच यू कैन गेट नाउ 6 बाय 1 बाय दिस वुड बी ऐसा कुछ तो आएगा सो 2.5 का प्रॉफिट सो इट इज ऑल नॉनसेंस प्लीज सॉल्व इट ऑन योर ओन आई एम नॉट हियर फॉर दैट This is percentage, and the question itself is in percentage. Why do you need this? This is the most important part. You understand this? This question is over. Everything is in percentage, and remember, if this was sale price, there is a separate formula. And formula again is derived from the concept only. But this is again is the directly cost price. I mean, अरे आप ये देखो ना यार समझो cost price hundred है. का कॉस्ट प्राइस एक पे पांच परसेंट का प्रॉफिट माइन लॉस एक पे दस परसेंट का प्रॉफिट विच मीन ओवरऑल पांच रुपए का प्रॉफिट डिवाइड बाय माय कॉस्ट प्राइस इज टू हंड्रेड सेम आंसर यू विल गेट जस्ट व्हाट वी डिड वन बाय फोर्टी एंड रिमेंबर दिस इज आल्सो रॉन्ग मेथड आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू यूज दिस मेथड इधर आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डू दैट राइट सो वन बाई फोर्टी यू कैन गेट नाउ So one by four is twenty five percent. One by forty is two point five percent profit. One by four is twenty five percent. अरे one by forty तो आंसर आया ना इसको परसेंटेज में कैसे कन्वर्ट करोगे तो इन टू हंड्रेड. This method again is wrong. अब भी हमने एवरेज के कॉन्सेप्ट में भी देखा था सी क्या नहीं सी my base is same. दोनों में base तो same ही है. Directly ये करो ना यार एक में profit loss एक में noise. Now two products हैं divided by two खत्म हो गया. That's it. See, I've gone from step to step, right? Make sure you understand this. I hope this is clear. Nothing. Now, see, it's about understandings. See, when you are solving at home, solve these questions in this manner. 
The only problem is in your book. Nowhere these methods will be mentioned. No book can mention this method. Method, right? So make sure you solve these questions in this manner. Up, your mind will get used to it automatically. Yeah, this one. Now this, I'll still say yes. Options are quite far away, but still, it's it's a calculative question. So uh, let's see now. A trader sells 145 meters of cloth for this much. A profit of rupees 10 per meter. So there is no percentage given, right? So कितने में बेचा? One, two, three, two, five. कितना cloth बेचा? One forty five. I hope you are able to understand it. So you you actually have to divide, get an answer. That will be your sale price per. Uh, that will be your sale price per meter, right? Usme se 10 rupees minus karo. So the only mistake which I have seen people doing is they won't deduct it. I hope you got this. So I can't really give you a shortcut for this now. Why? Because your options are also like this. The only point I want to say is people will forget reducing 10. Right, so get the answer. I think the answer is either 75 or 85. 75 should be the answer. But this calculation, so I can't help it. That's it, guys. I hope it helps you. Thank you.